Do you want to talk with Tam? 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 Talk with Tam. Talk with Tam. Talk with Tam. Talk with Tam. Say, do you want to talk with Tam? Say, do you want to talk with Tam? Do you want to talk with Tam? Do you want to talk with Tam? Talk with Tam. Talk with Tam. Talk with Tam. Talk with Tam, everybody. Today is Tuesday, September the 20th, 2022. And you are tuned into your Talk with Tam YouTube channel. I got to give a shout out to my subscribers. I got to give a shout out to you, my viewers. I got to give a shout out to my face mask community. I have to give a shout out to my empowerment partners. And all those who support Temple of Praise Ministries mission. Of empowering individuals and communities. Yay! I pray that on this week, that on this week, you were confident knowing that your rejection was actually your blessing. Amen. Amen. I got a few church announcements. Girl, where is your church? Grace New Covenant. Where is it located at? 7-Eleven, 7-Eleven, 7-Eleven Chambers Road. The re-church launch was a success. Sunday school was interactive and them breakfast snacks, y'all, they were on point. So I invite you, come church or do you want a church with Tam on Wednesday or do you want a church with Tam on Sundays at 10 o'clock? For Sunday school and 11 o'clock for in-person service. Where our pastor is, Tommy Horsley. Yay! Y'all know I call him Horsley sometimes. <laughs> but no organizational announcements. Uh, I would say is that uh, we began our strategic planning meeting this week. And um, y'all... Y'all who know me know about Excel, so I had to explain my Excel spreadsheet, and it gave me a headache. No. <laughs> Everything is going well, and I have to say is that uh, I want to give a shout out to my board of directors. You know, I must say I see your growth. I do. I do. And I'm excited uh, to lead you all into 2023. Yay! <laughs> Anywho, my talk with town viewers, face mess, check this. I know this. When you are doing right by people, when you work your works by the fruit of the Spirit, the glory of the Lord will burst through your actions and your attitude. Face mess, hear me and hear me well. Your righteousness is in God. His glory shines through you and it blinds your enemies. Which brings us to Tuesday's topic. What is it, girl? Blinded. Or should I say blinding glory? But before I get to the into the scripture, um, I'm going to give you some background. It's coming from Isaiah 62. And a uh, face mess, just to let you know that when I say something about Zion, we talking about God's people. And then it's also very important that I found after reading the whole passage and studying that you know who wrote it. It was Isaiah. It was his prayer. It was his prayer. Uh, and they call him the eagle-eyed prophet, not the cross-eyed prophet. He was a praying man. Honey, like my pastor. <laughs> I said I call him Pastor Porsley sometimes because he'll flip them praying hands up on you. It's on in <laughs> <laughs> but we call him praying parsley now. <laughs> Pastor praying parsley. <laughs> and I do declare that is one praying. <laughs> but let me.
me say this on the real. Uh, and I say that because at this church, Grace New Covenant, uh, pr prayer is a priority. At some of the other churches I was, worship was a priority. So let me say this to my Talk With Tim viewers, and especially to you, Face Miss. You need to have, as they say, some type of covering. Um, a sheet, a blanket, a comforter, a praying partner, a god friend friend, a pastor. Because it was the prayer of Isaiah that caused the people of God to be blessed. It is your pastor, your bishop prayers that go before you, even before you have sense enough to go to God for yourself. <laughs> I got a scripture about it. What is it, girl? It's Isaiah 62, and we're only doing uh, 1 through 12. That's the whole chapter, I believe. But I'm reading, yeah, y'all, the New Living Translation. Yeah, I'm doing something a little different. And we're at 1. Because I love Zion, I will not keep still. And that's Isaiah saying because my heart yearns for Jerusalem, I cannot remain silent. God called pastors after his own heart. And that is Jeremiah 3 and 15. And I, God, will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. That is a key, a, a cue to your pastor. If he was sent by God, if she was sent by God, if what they're feeding you, is it begetting knowledge and understanding? Isaiah goes on to say, I will not st stop praying for her until her righteousness shine like dawn. And her salvation blazes like a burning torch. I believe some pastor prayers are heard and God ear is attentive to the words, the prayers he or she speaks when they call your name out individually because of or because of your auxiliary. They call out about those urshas or corporately for the church. I believe this that God hears your pastor's prayers. I believe that there is a shift in the atmosphere in those who have put some neology on you, your pastors, your prayer partners, and that godly friend, God heard them about you. My talk with Tim, viewers, face mess, because of their prayers, and it was Isaiah prayers. This is about to go down. Your prayers for your pastor. Check this. Believe this. The nations will see your righteousness. World leaders will be blinded by your glory. The glory of God in doing our works. I believe is when the glory of the Lord is evident. Because it will be effectual to others whom we serve. The glory of God does not have the believer thinking more highly of themselves than they ought to. No, that is pride. The glory of the Lord does not have the believer gossiping, holding grudges, or even being a hater. No, this is the conversation and the ways of the old man. But the glory of God will have you to love them haters and table bearers. The glory of God shines through the believer that exercises humility. And because of your works and the mannerism they were done, expect God when we get to heaven to give you a new name. I said I got a scripture about it. And you will be given a new name by the Lord's own mouth. After that, he is going to hold you up before all to see. And that, that means all, all means your haters and your enemies too. 
Three, the Lord will hold you in his hand for all to see. A splendid crown in the hand of God. My talk with him, viewers, in the hand of God, you are a splendid crown. I choose to believe for his head. You earned it. You are deserving. Faith Smith, you are worthy, not worthless. Because even the struggle is real. When the struggle is real, you're still worthy. Why? And four, never again, never again will you be called the forsaken city or the desolate land. Your new name will be the city of God's delight and the bride of God. For the delight is you and will claim you as his bride. Hear me, all the single ladies, all the single ladies, yay! Don't you be th thirsty to marry. The thirst will have you looking at Bozo the Clown like he Boaz the King. God is married to his people. He will make you his signet ring, for he has chosen you. Face mints, you can find this in Haggai 2 and 23. You are sealed! By God. Five, your children will commit themselves to you, O Jerusalem, just as a young man commits himself to his bride. Then God will rejoice over you as a bridegroom rejoices over his bride. Know this, you, you backslide, your backsliding children will, shall commit themselves to you, except they be reprobate. Know this too, God rejoices over you. As a bridegroom rejoices over his bride. God is thy husband. God is thy broom. He loves you. And I say groom, not broom. Face mess. He rejoices over you. My talk will tell viewers. Now blind your haters with his glory. Blind your haters with your smile. Blind your haters with your works. God rejoices over you. Six. Oh, Jerusalem, I have posted watchmen on your walls. They will pray day and night continually. I choose to believe this. Angels from heaven or the watchmen posted. They guard you through the terror by night. You, you are assigned watchmen, guides you from the arrow that fly by day. They are on assignment. You are on assignment. You are the chosen God selected you. You keep them busy, them angels, the watchmen. They take no rest. All of you who pray to the Lord. Take no rest. Take no rest. That's a word right there. All you who pray to the Lord. We have to it say pray without ceasing. It say uh you know, come when he comes back, come he wants you to come when he comes back, you should be found occupying that time with kingdom business. Seven. Give the Lord no rest until he completes his work. <laughs> until he makes Jerusalem the pride of the earth. God is not resting until he completes his work in you. He will not rest, face mess. So therefore, I said, don't waste his time. Be, a, be about God's business. Be about the kingdom. And stop playing church. Eight. The Lord has sworn to Jerusalem by his own strength. I will never again hand you over to your enemies. Never again will foreign warriors come and take away your grain and new wine. Hallelujah. You are in position for your blessings. God said never again will God allow the enemy to put his or her hands on you. Never again will folks come against you. Why? You passed that test. You are now prepared for war. Never again, God said, will they hurt you. Never again will he will not allow it. They are playing with your life, God said, and no more.
enough is enough. Nine, you raise the grain and you will eat it, praising the Lord. Within the courtyards of the temple, you yourself will drink the wine you have pressed. Hallelujah. Face mess. Talk with them viewers. In a nutshell, you win. You did the works. You pressed the grapes. And now you will drink of the wine. Don't you give up. Your glory is shining. You are at the bridge of the Jordan. The bridge towards the Jordan. To your promise. So don't give up. But to you, my face mess community. To you, my Talk with town viewers. 10. Go out through the gates. Prepare the highway for the people to return. Smooth out the road. Pull up the boulders. Raise a flag for all the nations to see. Talk with them. I'm going to tell y'all, it's time. It is your time. Be that light. Let the glory of the Lord blind them. Why? Because the eagle-eyed prophet says so. Your prof your pastor says so. He might be a bald-headed eagle. Sounds, these sounds of Isaiah, these prayer words of Isaiah should echo throughout your life. Eleven, the Lord has sent a message to every land. Tell the people of Israel, tell my face mess community, tell my talk with them viewers to look, your savior is coming. See, he brings his reward with him as he comes. Don't you want your reward? You deserve your goodies. You are set apart. Twelve ending. They will be called the holy people and the people redeemed by the Lord. And Jerusalem will be known as the desirable place and the city no longer forsaken. You have earned this because the glory of the Lord shines through you. You blind them with your glory. So don't think it's strange when people need to wear shades in your presence. Don't think it's strange when they cannot look upon your face. Why? Because it is the glory of the, of the Lord that has blinded them. Amen. Amen. Hey, y'all. Check what? I was not expecting to do this. And uh, God said I had to. So I, I'm obedient in all things. But check this out, y'all. This wasn't even 20 minutes. <laughs> It was short, short and sweet. Amen. But it was right and tight. Amen. Amen. Until next Tuesday. Do you want to talk with Tam? 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 Talk with Tam. Talk with Tam. Talk with Tam. Talk with Tam. Say, do you want to talk with Tam? Say, do you want to talk with Tam? Do you want to talk with Tam? Do you want to talk with Tam? Talk with Tam. Talk with Tam. Talk with Tam. Talk with Tam, everybody. Until next Tuesday. <laughs>